Hey everybody, it's Allison here with New Little Life. Spectra is coming out with a new breast pump and I am so excited for this one. I don't think I've been this excited for a pump release in a while. Okay, soon in the mail coming to me is a Spectra Synergy Gold, but I have this test model right here. Thanks to Photoshop. Let's talk about some of the differences between the Spectra Synergy Gold and the other Spectra pumps. After that, we're gonna talk about the new Kara Cups as well. Kara Cups? I'm gonna say Kara Cups for now. Okay, so the number one difference between the Spectra One and the Synergy Gold is that the Synergy Gold has two motors, two. Now, the cool thing about that is that you can customize the settings on each side. So you can customize the settings for your right side and then change the suction style or maybe the vacuum level on your left side. A lot of women that pump find that they have a slacker side. There's a lot of different names for this, some colorful names as well. But the cool thing is, is now you'll be able to adjust them. Also, if you were healing from like maybe a crack on one side or you had something just maybe one side likes a bigger suction, stronger level, and this one prefers a little bit more, you can adjust that. This is the only pump on the market I know of that you can do that with. The super expensive Medela pump, the Symphony, I think has two motors too, but I don't think you can adjust the settings. I don't think so. It's a $2,000 pump though. So anyway, I'm really excited to play with that feature. The second difference between the Spectra Synergy Gold and the other Spectras is that you're gonna have more options for cycle speeds on massage mode. So expression mode has different cycle speeds. That's always been the case. But on the Spectra right now, when you're in massage mode, which is the first mode that you'll be in when you're trying to stimulate and let down, you're only on 70 cycle speeds per minute, which is fine. But with the Synergy Gold, you're gonna have five different options. 64, 67, 70, 74, 76, something like that. So on that massage mode, when you're trying to get the let down, you'll have a little bit more options there, which is cool. The third difference is on the suction levels. The standard Spectra pump as it is right now goes up to a vacuum level 12. On the new pump, you'll have 15 different vacuum style options. Now the max HHG, the max suction level was the same at about 270. So you're not necessarily gonna have more suction. You just have, you have 15 levels to choose from now instead of 12. So a little bit, you can kind of fine tune it a little bit more. The new Synergy Gold pump also has this cool little button that's called mute or quiet mode which is cool. I can't wait to see what that does, but I could see you really using that in the middle of the night pumping or maybe at work for more discreet pumping. So check back for the video when I get the pump and I'll show you what that button does, but it does have that mute quiet button feature. So that's cool. And I don't know if this is really a difference, but just as like a little side note, the new Spectra Synergy Gold does not have a rechargeable battery like this S1. It's more similar to the pink one, the S2, in that way it is gonna have to be plugged in. Might be forgivable though if the other features are extra cool, which I'm thinking they might be. That's gonna be make it a hard choice between the S1 and this one, that rechargeable battery. That might be a deal breaker for some of you though. So I'd really be interested to know what you think about that. I actually have a private Facebook group that's specifically designed to help you choose a breast pump. Um, I'll put that on the screen for you and down in the description. We can chat about it over there. Okay, a few things that are the same, like you're just gonna get the cool Spectra stuff. Bottles, phalanges, valves will all be the same. There was a little bit mentioned about like a tubing adapter on the website, so the tubing might be different. Stay tuned for that. Still has a little handle, it's in the back, it's a little bit more discreet. The design of it um, looks a lot better, a little bit more sleek. It's not kind of as bulky with the handle on top like the other Spectras. Um, it also has a three level nightlight as well. LED screen, it's gonna be cool. 
probably will be available for insurance, although it might take a little bit to get integrated there. I'm going to go ahead and say this would definitely probably include an upgrade. So I'd be surprised if your insurance covered it just free, but you might be able to get most of it covered and then a little upgrade to get this pump. Okay, so that's the Spectra Synergy Gold. Stay tuned for more information on that. As soon as I get it, I will put together a video really quickly for you and show you all the cool features because I'm so excited. Now let's switch over and talk about the Kara Cups. I hope I'm saying that right. I've done a lot of research on these on the internet. A few of you already have these. I think you can buy them in some other like Asian markets. I think I found one from the UK, although it wouldn't ship to me. Anyway, so these have been out for a little while, the Spectra Cups. Now, they're really, really similar to the Free Me Cups. This is a Free Me one. I was looking on their website and the basic makeup seems really similar. So the idea is, is that you can put this cup in your bra and then hook this tubing to your pump and pump hands free. Now you are still tied to this pump, but the Spectra cups are really cool. Spectra does make a pump called the S9, which is a little pump. Not a super workhorse pump like the other one. So if you're pumping a lot, a lot, I don't know if I'd recommend this one. I don't know. I've got another video on it. I'll put it up top for you. But that would make this whole like system pretty hands-free. So that's cool. It would be really great for a more discreet pumping experience, especially if you were like at work or something. You are going to have to deal with the tubing, which you wouldn't have to deal with on a pump like the Willow or the Freemie. I have so many pumps right here. You don't even know. <laughs> but the cups, especially where you got a Spectra cup with a Spectra pump would be really cool. You know they're compatible. They're going to work well together. I do like these. It says that these cups are going to be available in 24 and 28 millimeter sizes. So if you need a different size than that, you're going to have to find an insert. I'll put some links down below for you for some inserts that I think will work with it. Another cool thing about the Spectra Cups is it says that it will hold 250 milliliters, which if I'm doing my math right, I think is over eight ounces. That's a lot of milliliters. The Freemie Cup here holds eight ounces at 235 milliliters. So that's cool, especially if you know that you usually pump a lot of milk. It's got your typical backflow protectors, little uh, duckbill style valves. Should be all compatible with other Spectra models, except the very top piece of the backflow protector, which will need to connect to the tubing. Again, I'll show you that in the next video. I just kind of wanted to let you know that Spectra's coming out with this new stuff. I'm so excited about it, especially that new pump. So it's got some really cool features I can't wait to play with. Tell me what you're most looking forward to. Make sure you subscribe so you can check back and see when I get my hands on this new pump. See you next time.